Many organizations have production enterprise environments to host curated and authoritative content. Here I have a web application in production that serves water distribution information, including tools and feature services, such as distribution mains and pump stations. For some organizations that rely on more traditional release cycles, content may begin its life in separate distinct development or staging environments. We need tools and workflows that can automate content promotion operations between such environments. At ArcGIS Enterprise 10.8.1, Esri introduced developer APIs for content migration via groups. There are now tools to promote group content following dev to staging to production workflows. Esri understands this technology importance for customers and has supporting documentation and blogs. Let's see how easily I can move content changes from development to staging. In development, I have made changes to the web app banner, the tools layout, the base map, feature symbology, web map pop-ups, and a new data field. These changes look good and pass my initial testing. Now we want to promote this group content to staging for additional quality control. For automation, we will use a notebook with the ArcGIS API for Python to call the content migration via groups tools. As a group owner or administrator, I can promote content. This notebook makes a connection to my dev environment, accesses the group, and creates an export package item of all supported item types in the group, which includes web maps, web apps, and hosted feature services. The notebook then connects to my staging environment, adds the export package as a new item, and then shares the export package item to the staging group. Before importing the package, we can inspect it. Finally, the package can be imported into the staging group. Content migration via groups has the unique capability of maintaining item IDs between environments. In the staging environment, refreshing this web application URL with the same item ID, I can see the new changes. A quality engineer can run a series of tests to ensure these updates are working correctly. Once the staging testing is complete and we have business approval, an identical workflow can be used to migrate the group content from staging to production, either via a scheduled notebook task or manually. This takes several minutes, but I've sped up the processing time here. With migration to production complete, the content changes have now been refreshed in production and available for use. The web app, web map, symbology, and data field changes are now live. Operations automation is a critical concept to well-defined development to staging to production workflows. We hope that content migration via groups provides you the tools to be successful.